Okay, welcome to our new week on virtual storage and sharing images. And uh, just to go back a little bit, I hope that you have your 500-page essay completed and submitted as that was due last week. Remember that was about the SAMR model and included some of these elements of SAMR and develop thinking pro... I'm just kidding. It's April Fool's Day, everybody. You don't have a 500-page essay that was due last week. But I did show you this for a reason. This is actually a Sway presentation. It's a 500, it's a, not a 500 page essay. It's a presentation type of format that you're going to create this week. Um, and it, it's kind of a new thing that's come out. There, there are different websites and um, tools that support this type of presentation, but it's more like a dynamic web page type presentation, not like your static like kind of PowerPoint slideshow thing. But as you can see, it slides through the different pages and kind of allows you to create different elements to it. This one's called a stack, where things are stacked on top of one another. And here's another, another example. This one, the one that I showed you is Create with Sway, which is a Microsoft Office new product. Um, but there's also Adobe Spark page. And here's an example of an Adobe Spark page. It's kind of like a dynamic, easy to create website, or I should say web page, page, not site. And as you scroll down, you can look at the different pictures, maybe up close. And things pop in, kind of move around a little bit more dynamically than your regular web page. So you're going to create one of these as part of the discussion for this week and um, see how it is to create sort of a dynamic presentation, then talk about the implications for teaching and learning, as this is a new and interesting way to do this. So that's the discussion for this week. Um, even though the week is really about virtual storage and sharing images, this is kind of a new way to share images and pages and text. And so you're going to use a Microsoft's Way or Adobe Spark page to create a dynamic text page of at least four frames or pages, and then discuss these why, why these might be useful as a teacher. Of course, you're going to do that after you read chapters 7 and 19 in the textbook about file sharing and um, image sharing. And you're also going to read or watch some presentations on the different file sharing tools. Now, these are just how to use WeTransfer, Dropbox, Google Drive, Flickr, and Google Photos. So those are some, like I said, kind of the older tools that I think many of you probably are familiar with. You've probably already shared something with Google Drive, for instance, or Dropbox. But if you haven't, it's probably a good idea to go ahead and try those out and share those. WeTransfer, for instance, is a website that's kind of nice. Uh, you just go there and you click I agree, and then you uh, enter a file up to 2 gigabytes. So, of course, you can't email a file that's larger than maybe 10 megabytes, and so 2 gigabytes, gigabytes is quite a bit larger than that. Sometimes you need to send somebody a very large file, so WeTransfer might be a good tool for doing that. And you can enter the email too, and then your email, and then any message that you'd like to add, and then hit transfer. Um, it's pretty easy to do. Oops. So, um, but the, the only question is, you know, how much information they might actually save of the files that you're transferring, you know, whether they might keep those files or what they can do with those files. I don't think that they can do a lot with those files, but if it's something that you need to make sure is absolutely um, private, then I would be a little concerned about using something like WeTransfer because, again, you don't know what they're doing with the information. But a lot of times we just need to send something that's really not a big deal as far as privacy is concerned. So those will show you how to use some of these sharing things. But then what you're going to do for the discussion is go to Microsoft Sway or Adobe Spark page. You're going to set up an account and create a dynamic web page of at least four frames or pages. And it'll be something like what I've shown you. It'll be something like um, either this is Microsoft Sway or Adobe Spark page. And you can set them up in different ways, but it's kind of a dynamic web page. You can use this to create newsletters, um, yeah, just a web page, an informational page about something, and so forth. But kind of a new, different type of media that you can use to create instructional media. So then you'll discuss um, you know, why these types of dynamic web pages might be useful for a teacher. teacher. And uh, we'll go from there. So that's basically it for this week. 
So do give yourself some time, though, to kind of figure out Spark Page and Microsoft Sway, whichever one you choose. But they're not too hard to actually get started with. So, All right, well, good luck for this week, and we'll see you later.